Can't believe we get that late. All right, we're here with Gretchen Titch Willow, uh, blue green. So I'm going kind of big with it, and it's not like Tamio or what's the other big one, Tatyova, where like Tatyova draws cards every time you just play land for zero mana. This is a little opposite, but uh, I think it allows for kind of a different way to play blue green, which is a ton of counter spells and stuff instead of a ton of like ramp spells like Tatyova would like. Tamio kind of just being in between those two. So this is like, you know, you'd have like <laughs> counter spells and stuff, which would be like this. And then you have like Tamio and then you have like Tatyova. Like they're all kind of. I think they're different enough that this is worth trying, and I find this strategy to be quite satisfying. You just play this early. An early commander is always good, just usually really, really good, even if the ability isn't all that strong. Just having access to like a super consistent um, two-drop every game is just nice, so I'm going to try it. I'm running every single like witness protection effect, or frog. I call them frogify effects. There's like a bunch on two one on one and there's one on three mana that i'm not running i think that's a little too expensive but i think it's efficient removal enough outside of just counter spells um i have mass manipulation i tend to not play this card but i'm feeling i'm feeling frisky i guess same with invoke the winds pretty demanding on the blue but we're only two colors we have ramps spells we have uh these cards too that like draw you a land um i like these just to um, putting, like, lands into my hand feels worse instead of putting them right into play, but with this commander ability where you draw a card and then you can put a land into play, I think it's worth trying these. Actually, with that being said, I think, um, I want Abundant Harvest. I forgot about that one. I think that should be in here as well, obviously. Um, yep, a bunch of counter spells, the mana rocks, uh, three mana Nissa. I think Narset was in here for a split second and I took it right out I just even if it is guaranteed to hit something I just don't ever feel like it's worth it to consistently protect Nissa. it just never seems like something I'm able to do in any kind of control deck you like need something that can really just block to effectively keep Nissa safe or just have something that's more of a threat in play so I'm not running it but that's probably that's probably just up to the individual. I mean, the same argument goes for Nissa. Uh, excuse me, I'm talking about Narset. I was saying Nissa, but you know what I mean. Three minute Narset. Um, kind of the same with Nissa here a little bit, but I just like this card. It's like Crystal Ball is one of my favorite cards, and this is basically Crystal Ball. So, but I mean, it could probably come out now that I just added a card. Like it's not, it's not like up there for me. Same with Crisis, right? Like, how many times are we going to do this for a lot of mana? I don't know. Probably not often. It's just another blue-green X spell. Yeah, maybe we could drop Crisis. I don't see this realistically being a huge threat, really. It is uncounterable card draw, though, right? That There's not much of that. You have, like, Commence the Endgame or whatever, and then you have, like, this, and... I think there's one or two more. Neza Hall technically draws cards on Counterable. Um, Kama kind of draws cards, except those cards are 0 minute 3 threes. You look at it like that, right? But do we really need Hydrate Crisis now that I'm thinking about it? Yeah, it is a Mana Sync Commander for sure, which is obviously right up into my playstyle where my Commander tends to just be Plan B. <laughs> so that's kind of what's going on here. But, hmm... I don't know. If I had to drop a card right now, maybe Simic Locket. I don't even know why I picked this as my first um, Mana Rock, actually. I think the Celestius is probably just better. Yeah, I don't actually know why I put Simic Locket in here. I think I'm going to drop Tamio, or the 5-minute Tamio. I think it's probably the weakest command, or weakest Planeswalker in here. Yeah, let's put... I want the Celestius in here. The Kleskukuskukugu. Um... Might even want more mana rocks as this goes, but we'll see. It is kind of a commander where thinning your deck of lands kind of kind of goes against what the bonus is, but you still draw a card like uh, Spectral Sailor. This is almost just Spectral Sailor. It is literally Spectral Sailor if you don't have a land. 
to put into play. Um, still kind of a cool commander. I've obviously never played it, so we're going to try. And uh, yeah, like, comment, and please subscribe. I have to do one of those um, random things in the middle of the video where it, like, it reminds you to subscribe. And then if you don't subscribe, you're actually like, you can't watch the rest of the video. <laughs> That'd be messed up. Imagine that. Cosmos Elixir? Yeah, we could throw that in here too. Yeah, yeah. I I went with the blue. I always filter like artifacts last when I build a deck. So I get to them last. Um, that's why sometimes I forget to actually put in the mana rocks. Because they just come last. I just like always do those last but yeah i probably i could think about cosmos elixir hey nathan what up dude Witter. all right Tanada. um you know how i feel about this matchup it's usually there's like three cards in hanada that make it worth playing let's hope they don't have one of those and uh do our thing we can play our commander turn too i don't really care if it dies it in fact my opponent probably doesn't care to really even kill it Looks like they... I'm going to assume they have a cantrip and not like a lightning bolt. Oop, there goes the phone. Yeah, that seemed like the case. Commander sitting in play really shouldn't be all that scary for them. And maybe it's some kind of distraction. I don't know. Alright, so we just passed. Yep. This is going to be interesting. I found my land drop. I don't have to sacrifice a land until it resolves. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Opponent found that worth it to counter. That's actually kind of interesting. Alright. Let's just pass. That would have been an excellent turn to have an untapped land, but... Okay. Well, they don't really play creatures. So this makes me think, as be uh, because there are so many... Um, mana rocks in the in the game that they're just uh, uh, <clears throat> what you might call it running a boatload of mana rocks because this is like the tenth one you run. All right, I'm gonna counter that with the most expensive counter spell I have. I could take an extra turn randomly. I don't see it really being a reason. I don't. Yeah, I don't see a reason to do that. That's fine. All right. Looks like we actually get to activate the commander here. Don't really care if it dies. All right. It's not gonna. Oh, it hit a land too. Oh, yes. Perfect. All right. Oh, man, I love these end-step decks. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I'm having a great time right now. Well, maybe it gets aggro, I just lose, but it's not what we're up against. We could think about a couple more creatures in to, to put in our deck. I think maybe we're, we could try that. Um, this is usually scary, but I think we have the resources to kill our opponent before it would kill us. At least I'm confident about that. Could be wrong. Could end up killing us. We'll see. I uh, really wish I did the thing on that card. All right, this is two mana, so I'll just do it now. Probably get another island. I don't need too much green, really. Yeah, the tech classic blue-green control, yeah. Um, I don't think I played a land, so let's go get one. Did I play a land? Not sure. I did not. Okay. And then I pass. Or do I just take another extra turn? I want to play an extra turn after I have something like this in play. Maybe that's not worth it. Maybe I should just dump this to um, find cards. I mean, drawing lands is fine as well. I want to play this, but I can't leave up. Oh, I mean, I can leave up counter spells, yeah. I mean, the 8 8 is just good, right? The 8 8's fine. I don't really. It's not like. This isn't bad. If they cast a sweeper, I'm not going to counter it. Unless maybe it taps them out, then I probably will. They have to use the Ornithopter in the banner now. Otherwise, the best of sea gods taps it down forever.
Yeah, it's basically a growth spiral if you have nothing to do. But uh, it's like reverse Tat Yova. Tat Yova comes in later, and you want to run ramp spells. This is like comes in early, and you can play at your you can play on your opponent's turn, which is kind of cool. All right, so these two things are gonna get tapped down, which is nice. And I guess I'll just swing at Chandra, even though I'd like to steal it. There's no guarantee that I can steal it, right? This best of sea gods might not, like, work. Although I could just swing at my opponent. Could just swing three times and kill them. They didn't have a land, though. That's kind of suspect. All right, we're going to play Reckless here. We're going to go face... And then I'm going to play a Temple, Scry. Witness Protection is decent against Hinata, but if they cast Hinata, they basically lose. Because that's their whole turn, and that doesn't really do anything. Tails End would be annoying for this, but... Um, I can counter that. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Let's Memory Deluge. Uh, saw it coming, and I guess Thirst. And then I counter it with this to discount the instance in my hand. Still left with the same amount of uh, counter spells, regardless, right? Okay, that's a good sign, I guess. I mean, it's the only thing it can do. But... Found a land, but it's tapped. They have less mana than they did last turn. They didn't use the Ornithopter or the Banner. They probably just should have to cast Anticipate on their own turn, because they're going to get tapped down anyways. They should have, like, floated the mana, cast Anticipate with the mana. They just didn't. Don't really know why. I like my whole hand, so... Alright, so we get to attempt to steal this. Alright, it just snap resolved. Yeah, this is just, uh... They had a really good card against us, but... I'm actually going to frogify this to mess up some of their mana, because they missed a land drop. And I'll just keep this shut down. Oh, okay, sure. I won't fight. Now we're winning the race. And it's almost impossible for them to do anything, because I've three counter spells. Yeah, I think we're going to drop Hydroid Crisis here. It costs one less, which is funny, so the X is weird. That's actually a really weird card to have a, a lower on X there. So they, they have to find an uncounterable card, but they only have four mana, and there's nothing that they can find that does anything. Yeah, this is... I mean, they actually just can't even cast this. You need another mana. Yep, get wrecked. They need another mana. They had five. It costs six to steal a single permanent. Yeah, it costs six. Um, even if they did do that, this would have to get tapped. And then they'd die from the 8-8. So they were just dead regardless. Um, yeah, so I guess it made sense to not swing at Chandra. Right? Their only way to deal with Chandra seemed to be like steal it back. Because it's at 14. They do have white. There are some cards. But without Hinata in play... Even if they have Magma Opus or Sublime Epiphany, they can't really cast it, right? Or they, I mean, they can, but if it's if it costs six mana, it's it's all you're doing for the turn, right? Instead of however cheap Hinato makes it. But I don't think they had Magma Opus because you just easily cycle it. Yeah, we're gonna drop Krasis and put in. I don't know. Another mana rock, maybe? Another ramp spell, another cantrip. Is Brainstorm good? We do have a lot of these kind of cards. So Brainstorm does, like, function. Like, we have plenty of shuffle effects, I'd say. How many Planeswalkers do we have? Extra turns are weird when you're not doing anything with them. I don't like extra turns when you're not doing anything with them. If all you're doing is drawing a land and playing it, uh, yeah, no. The, honest, wait a minute. I don't even know if Explorer is in the deck. 
It doesn't look like it is. We do have Tamiyo, though. Those two cards kind of break the game. Yeah, all right. We should actually have Explore in here. I, I must have I must have not realized it wasn't. And I guess because we have Tamiyo, I'll put Time Warp back in. Because Time Warp doesn't exile itself because the card's stupid. All right. You know what they should do? They should, like, do a rules update for all cards that give you an extra turn just immediately get exiled upon casting them. I, I guess that would be Nexus of Fate doesn't work. Like, it just would break as a card. Like, it wouldn't function. It would actually just break, so maybe that's not... It's the mirror! Oh, no, it's the mirror. Why am I excited? Hmm... I feel like I have time for a hand stupid like this because of Escanto. Escalilla, Escalilla. This is interesting though. I've only played against this like twice. It's funny to see it when I'm playing it. That's kind of funny. Oh boy. I think Escanto is more important than putting this in play when I can't use it. Especially when my whole... My opponent's next turn is probably just playing this anyways, and, and then we both have one in play, and they go back and forth. Who knows? I don't have any counter spells in hand, which is probably stupid, but... Never mind, found one. Command Tower now shows you the colors it taps for. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Hoping you get... <laughs> hey, this person's playing uh, Simic Locket, too. Look at that. Maybe I wasn't all wrong about that. It does draw cards, and if you don't need it anymore. Alright, Uro is obviously just casting it and drawing it. It was kind of opposite. I didn't hit a land, so now we're in a serious pickle. Leaving up counter spells is great, but if we're both not doing anything, and they're activating their thing, and I'm not, it's just bad. Then we both have this special art, too. Look at that. They shocked themselves? They didn't have to do that to activate their commander, and they still had two blue. So I don't know what that means. Opponent's probably overthinking it. Uh, that finds me a land. Yeah, I guess I literally have to do that, so. Get it an island. Oh god, is this one of the, yeah, this seems like one of the, per the people that, like, have to really analyze every single thing until we get to the end step and they activate Gretchen. They have no lands in hand, that is, that is good and bad for different reasons. They have mana dorks, I didn't expect that. Okay, I don't know what they're ramping into that I can't just counter, except Kama and Nezahal. Nezahal would be the serious issue. Kama, not so much. I want to keep every land. Oh god. Oh, You're going to see the difference between me and a regular Gretchen player, I guess. Holding priority every single possible moment. To do something like arbitrary. They're running unsummon? Why? Okay. I don't think my commander in play was uh, really all that important for me. They're running sensor. I know that makes sense. A lot of green mana in play for a lot of blue spells. Interesting. Okay, they figure out that they don't want to do anything at all. Uh, that would be nice, but I don't think it's too great in the mirror. I think I'll play this now and not fight over it. I think this is kind of a not a good thing to ever counterspell. It's just like a waste of counterspells. Okay. I really wish it didn't draw a card. I don't really know what I'm doing now. Like, I can't play my commander. Oh, I'd rather not tap out. Oh my god, my phone. 
Why is it every time I stream my phone starts going crazy? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. You did something. Um, It's just a 4-4. Four, four. I guess I'll just get into a fight now. I think that's fine. They're not going to fight back, so I'll just deal with it. They're running Vivian, so... Well, Vivian doesn't need creatures in your deck. It makes creatures. Maybe we can run Vivian. Uh, Vivian. I mean, the longer this game goes, the more cards I learn, right? They didn't swing Paradise Druid. Obviously leaving up mana to activate their thing. Um, doesn't really matter what I do. Can I leave up a Counterspell if I cast this? No. Is that a good idea still? Probably not. I Wait, well, every time I cast this, my opponent dumps a Counterspell. So, I think that's fine. I really don't respect dealing with Gretchen. The tempo is not... It doesn't feel like it's a good idea to do it. We are on the back foot, though. I think we're uh, behind. If I had a two-minute counterspell, maybe not, but I don't. Opponent doesn't know that, but... I don't think it'll stop them from just casting something. Oh, look, it's Tatyova. Great. Actually, I don't think I have Tatyova in here. I don't, I don't know, like, if you're running, they don't seem so, well, I mean, they do seem counterspell heavy, but they're still running stuff like this, so their, their Gretchen deck is, like, all over the place. It's probably going to pay off, though, because I can't do anything. If I could just resolve something, that would be great. So this would be six... To five. This is the only thing I can fight back. And it's like the worst card in my hand. I don't think I will fight back. But I might have to. Because now they're drawing too many cards. I don't know. They probably have an answer to the token. Or just don't care about the token. I'm going to make a token though. I just want immediate value here. I have no counter spells, so there's really no reason to try to like fight or leave anything up, right? Just dump my stuff until something resolves and works. Alright, not really anything in the graveyard I'm too scared of. Vivian's kind of annoying, though. Looks like they're grabbing Unsummon to deal with a token. Yep, this kills uh, Renin 7 because they have two attackers now. And they still have mana to leave up. Unsummon's a weird one. I don't think I would ever run that card. We flip his Skanta, though. I don't really know what that does for us. I still have to, like... It's just, like, another way to dump my mana, but Gretchen already does that. So, I don't know. Do I even flip this? I probably should, just to, like, put another mana source in play. Okay, so we'll just play Ujin so I can maybe deal with Tamiyo. And if that doesn't work, I, the game's over. Cool. Alright, you did it. Congratulations. Alright, my opponent's playing weird mid-range, middle-costed things that aren't just counter spells, while also playing a ton of counter spells. Maybe we can try that. The, the, the tempo gain of Unsummon is not worth it, though. I don't agree with it at all. I don't think that really mattered that game, other than being a literal removal spell, because I played a token. So in that case, it was decent, right? But that was like the second time I got cast. Um, hmm. 
<clears throat> Biomancer's Familiar. Is that the... Uh... That's the... No, I'm thinking of a different card. Activated abilities, creature control, two less. So this would just be explore every time. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I'd have to cast both. I mean, both of these would have to be in play. This card has absolutely... It, this doesn't do anything at all unless this is in play. We had this debate with uh, the last commander I was playing there. When you're just... The, the Esper thing. Every time you put a card in your deck, that just makes your commander slightly better. But the card is totally useless if you don't have your commander. I just don't like these uh, kinds of cards. This comes in early and can come in more than once reasonably. So maybe it's worth it, unlike the last one. I don't think it's as reasonable of an expectation. This probably can come in play early every game and then have this sometimes. Maybe it's a little bit better just because of that. Just because my commander can, in fact, stay in play often. I am still leaving up mana for counter spells. Like, this is... It's still adding to my plan B. It's not, it's not like, my prerogative to, to do that. What do I drop for it? I kind of want the other... The new Vivian. The one that we saw milled from our opponent. That one isn't bad. Maybe Frilled Mystic is useless. It's just a counter spell, but it costs four. And the three two is not very effective. Like I don't, I don't really need the three two. Do I even have the uh, Vivian? I don't think I have that Vivian, do I? No, I don't. I don't think I've ever actually cast that card. The one that makes tokens. This one. I think token generators are pretty effective in a style of deck like this, right? But isn't like, I don't know, Zendikar's Royal. Zendikar's Royal seems like a good idea, too. Because it's the same thing, except it's not a Planeswalker, right? Five mana, make two twos instead of three threes. I'm never using the minus two, really. Uh, there's some creatures in the deck, I guess, but not really. So it's really just a token generator. It doesn't actually do anything else. Wilderness Reclamation is a good idea, though. That's a really good idea. That should have absolutely been in here. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. Hey, Matt, what up? We're just playing some blue-green something. We got clapped in the mirror, though. It wasn't even really close. Um, we had different cards, too, so it wasn't like full-stop luck of the draw or anything. They just had different cards than me. Alright, what feels not great? Brazenbauer, maybe? Never really cared for Brazenbauer. Bounce spells are weird. I think we can drop that. We might even be able to drop a Frogify and run um, Divide by Zero. It's kind of like sort of the same thing. Not really. I don't know. I just I think I'm going to keep those as is. All right, let's just try that. Wilderness Reclamation is probably the best card in the deck, actually. I'm very surprised I did not, did not uh, put that in here. Uh, was well, not on my radar. That card is very good for this strategy. Incredibly good. Yeah, if it's in play, your chance to win like skyrockets because I can play on my own turn all the big stuff and then on my opponent's turn all the counter spells, which is like really good. Never got the notification. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I don't know if it's me, Twitch, or just uh, the in to the individual. I, I don't know. All right, there's no green mana here. No, oh, there's here though. Oh, yeah. Chatterfang is. Sketch. Alright, I don't know why they reveal the land if they didn't use the mana. It's not a, it's not correct. Don't show me it. It doesn't matter this early, especially on the play. But you don't want to do that. You don't have to. So if I want to counter Chatterfang, I have to leave a counter spell this turn. And my commander isn't doing anything. Nah, well, what am I taking? Nah, nah, screw that. We're going to play this instead of anything else and rush ahead a bit here because I have a frogify so we can play land mind stone and frogify or do we leave up quench I think I should leave up quench and just turn off their commander oh you gotta be kidding me what is this oh wait oh, oh nope 
Oh, they could sacrifice it to itself, I guess? They want it to do that? This doesn't counter it. I can't counter that. Okay. Oh, this sacrifices their commander? Oh, come on! Uh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> there goes all the... Uh, all that. That's not good. Land this commander pass. No reason to crack the mind stone, I don't think. I can Tamio pick up this. I don't know. I don't know. Greeters. Okay, that's that's a new card. The counters, the treasures, the life. Oh boy. Jewel Thief. What? That was one of the draft cards we saw a lot. What is that doing in here? I guess it makes a token, which works with Chatterfang. They didn't sacrifice Chatterfang before they did everything here, so... I guess that's pretty nice for us. But we're kind of not doing much. We're not under insane pressure, but we're going to be soon. Um... Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what I'm plussing with Tamio, so I'm just not gonna even bother with that I guess I just pass oh god one more artifact maybe we can drop inventors there thinking about it there's not really a lot of artifacts in my deck it felt free it sort of is free but like in this instance I'm probably just going to sacrifice it Yeah, that's... I guess that's that. Zero fear for counterspells. Yep, well, that's probably game. Cameo that doesn't do anything, they can just do it again. What are we even what are we looking for here? What do we even do now? Nope. There's literally nothing we can do, so... I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm not coming back from this. I'm just not coming back from this. I need... Well... I don't know. Without sweepers, it's like... A gear hulk or something um, I could like rivers rebuke them at some point maybe but that doesn't really I can't stop them from recasting stuff maybe we could go for more things to just effectively defend myself because Kama's good at doing that but Kama comes in so late um oh boy Mass manipulation wouldn't have been terrible, but they can sacrifice things in response to it because they have the stupid merchants, so that doesn't feel great. 
All right, look, what if we drop the Frogify stuff and add it, like, just mid-range creatures? Like, um, Greater Gargaroth? Questing Beast? I almost want to craft Vivian just to make repeat, like, repeating tokens is just fine, right? Yeah, those cards... Ma manipulation would have been decent, I guess. But again, they can sacrifice whatever they want. And then I actually don't... Oh, Shark Typhoon should probably be in here. Well, then it's, I'm just not really... I'm not coming back. Even if I bounce their whole board, I'm not really coming back. I'm just behind. I can't, like, bounce their whole board and leave up an army of counterspells. Unless I found also... Like, Wilderness Reclamation, and had all of that in hand. Top decking Rivers Rebuke doesn't actually do anything, because they just start recasting everything, and it's the only card in my hand. Even if I can pick it up again with Tamiyo, it doesn't... I'm just dirtling. Hmm. Mm -mm. Suspicious Stowaway. It loots when I poke, and then it just draws... Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. There's another way to draw cards. Get rid of cards that aren't great. I guess I'm willing to try it. It comes in super early, too. I don't think I've ever seen anyone play that, though. Mm -mm. Oracle Moldai is interesting. I didn't really put those in here. Oracle or Augur. Maybe we can drop Invoke the Winds. Hmm. Ledger Shredder. I, that is in the game, isn't it? Yeah. Aspiring Spike likes it. Looks like I don't own it, because why would I? Well, I mean, it's a new set, right? How often do we cast two spells a turn, though? I don't, I don't think we really do. I feel like we don't cast two spells a turn very often. Like, at all. Opponent might, but... It's not like two spells in the turn. Nah, I don't think this is... No, this probably is not in any way the deck for it. Probably isn't really even the format for it. Drop Quench, I think. Alright. Nowhere to go but up, right? Nowhere to go but up. Seems like we're really good against control decks, but everything else we're not good against at all. Usually a control deck, right? Well, they don't really answer search for Skanta. They certainly kill my commander very often. This an early Nissa against this seems pretty cool too. Again, it's a hand with no counter spells, but I don't think I need an early counter spell. So, ghostly pilfer. Hmm, maybe. Double tap land from the opponent. Um, I think this is a good time to just put this in play. And then I can maybe play Nissa next turn. Alright, they play their own like tap to draw thing. Early Bajuka Bog. Um, this does find a land, but I think I'm fine. Just put Nissa in play here for one and then add two. 
Do I just blindly... No, 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 we just grab two. Alright, so I'm going to mill Discover. So I put it to the bottom, and I want to land. Yeah, either way, I'm just getting a land, right? Esconta finds it or whatever. No red or blue from the opponent. Oh, now they got them all. Strike it rich? What the... Blue... Um, plus again? I think we just blind zero. We could just play our commander. Call it a day. I almost want to blind zero. No, we're just going to keep scrying, I think. Oh, wow, we would have got there, too. Rip. Okay. The blue Phyrexia arena? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If we can ever find a spot to actually like attack with it consistently, I, I do like it. It seems as though when we're up against creatures, we don't we're not really able to do that. So I don't know. I don't have like a lot of removal spells to clear the way. They did not play a land last turn, I think. Field of Ruin. Okay, that's... Yeah. That's uh, really annoying, actually. That's probably the only card in their deck that like affects the top of my deck. That's kind of funny. They knew I double-topped. Oh. Okay, the Chaos Warp. Alright, so they actually had another thing that messes the top. This would be nice. Um, It's not nice right now, so that's probably a reason to get rid of it. Chaos Warp. That's a really weird one. Let's go get an island and play it. Or do we just windmill Ujin? What does this do when it enters? I lose some cards. Maybe that's stupid. That's probably stupid. Let's go get an island. Let's play said island. I have five. So one, two, three. I'll just put Wizard Class in play and pass. Hmm. If I cast Ujin, they just cast their commander. And then I lose, like, some cards in my hand. And then when I deal with this, I lose half my stuff in play, which is not great. Oh, they're playing the treasure stuff. Look at that. Nice. Still some weird cards in there, but I like to see it. They're not flashing back the strike it rich, and I don't know why. Probably should just do it, right? Opponent did not. Discover is good in this spot. I'm gonna play this as a creature. I mean, excuse me, a land. Uh then we just pass. They draw there. We have our Mana Sync with our draw, so Maze Mind's Tome Bank Buster doesn't feel as great in this, uh, this deck. No, like, no islands. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a blue source from the land. I imagine there are counter spells. You would think. They didn't activate Castle Lock Vein, and they're under no pressure, though. So I don't know what's going on. Phyrexian Arena is annoying. I can't really stop it. Okay. Ah, uh, this was this is all right. It's all right. When am I ever gonna just tap five for it though? Probably, probably never. Let's just have it go bye bye car. So this blows up arena, and that's probably a good idea. So they don't run away with a game. Although I could just keep up with it, making two twos, as well. But it's probably a better idea to just deny the resources. And if they deal with Ujin, then it's like a two for one, right? So I think that's just fine. 
All right, how much mana do we have on tap? Four. One of it's green, so we can't we can't triple counter spell because it's all blue. But probably not a big deal. Prismari command. Okay. Uh, sure. They get a mana. They didn't draw any cards or anything. Just killed my Ujin. Yeah, we just got the two for one from Ujin, which is kind of what I expected to happen. They get a one one from the Bank Buster running out of additional cards. I still think we can just grind them out. I feel like that's a good position or a good strategy in this uh, matchup. It's like the slowest version of Grixis, really. Which is kind of where we want to be. Okay. What is this doing? It swings. Literally nothing. It is just a 4-4. Four four. Okay. Can't say I'm scared about that. Or of that. Wow, they got rid of their... One, two, three, four. Okay. They got rid of the thing that crews. That's interesting. I don't want to lose to their commanders, so I'm not going to let them. So I have to counter that? No. I mean, if they have the stupid card, then they have the stupid card. They're going to get it eventually, so I'm just going to let them just grab it. The, 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 um,. Six mana, your opponent loses all cards in their hand that are non-creature or whatever. The uncounterable duress your whole hand for six mana. It doesn't really work alongside this, because then it makes the Enter the Battlefield effect totally useless, but if they have it, then I'm just dead anyways. Like, it just... They're going to draw it eventually, and I'm not going to try to respect it in that way. It just is what it is. Kind of suck to have the game end like that, but I'm going to assume that is in fact what's going to happen to us. Or it just might be Chandra. Could be that as well. So whatever it is, it is the best card in their deck. Don't know what else you'd get. Uh, I guess we'll sack an island. No, we'll sack a uh, forest for a forest island. Forest for a forest island. <laughs> Negate is alright. I guess but it doesn't really do anything if my opponent has the card in question so I'm going to wait a turn to see if it is the card in question to which we probably just lose on the spot well they didn't snap it off so Guess it wasn't the card they got. Okay. Cool. They did not get the card. Alright, so I guess I feel better about drawing cards and stuff. Uh, Seagate Restoration seems decent. I guess it's free to just scry here. Uh... No. Wow, alright, they didn't run the card, which is probably correct to do. It just would have sucked to see it there, because obviously our whole hand is non-creatures. Um, what did they tutor for? There's no way they just tutored for a counterspell. That seems... Like, what do you think is in my hand? It has to be a bunch of counter magic, so I don't know why you'd Grim Tutor for this specifically. That means they're not running Chandra. Wait a minute. Yeah, we didn't see any other, like, actual way to kill me from them. Other than maybe hitting me over and over, but they got rid of their own 1-1. Which probably wasn't going to actually kill me, but... Interesting there. We They drew three off of this, and... Okay. So there was actually no threat outside of Xander. Which, I don't think Xander should ever be your primary game plan. Wait a minute, was that the... Was that the same opponent that we played, uh... That was playing, like, Mirror March and stuff? I think it was, because they were using the same portrait. I'll have to go back and look at the name. Had I realized that, 
then I think we could have maybe played a different way. Although it probably just wound up kind of being the same outcome, right? If Xander's your only actual real threat, then you're never really going to pull it off. You kind of need to do at least something else. Like, at the very least, just a little bit of something else. Teferi is extremely bad news bears. Uh, so, yeah, it's just bad. So a mana rock changes how I play, I think. I think we're always playing our commander on two. Yeah, there's no real reason to play this and have it not do anything. I mean, I could swing for two, I guess. But a mana rock kind of makes it so I can't cast this. God. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so I can't go for it now because obviously I can't just lose the game of spot. That would be kind of uh, not great. I wonder what that is. Oh my god. Alright, well, if this gets countered, we lose, probably. Uh, do we get rid of an island, maybe? And then just get Forest Island? Probably. But, it, well, I mean, if it gets countered, it's not bad, right? Because then I can capitalize on that, maybe? I don't know. Okay, well, they could have countered it and chose not to, maybe. Who knows? Who knows what that means? I don't think I've ever had the card be countered before. Well, I'd rather leave this up if I can help it, so I'd play this over the uh, stowaway. I would be completely flabbergasted if I successfully like activate Gretchen twice with uh, Familiar in play. Seemed kind of crazy to me, but whatever. We'll see. We get at least one activation, but I'm probably going to have to counter something this turn. Did they name white with this? Oh, look, it's a, it's a sleeper. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's swing for two. Let's abundant for a land. Put it on blue or green? Probably blue, because that's kind of all we do, right? And then I do this and pass. Hmm. Another sweeper. Oh boy. Great. Okay, out of gas. We have a Nissa Planeswalker, so I guess we get three lands of our choice. We can go get man lands. That might do something. Or just not do anything at all. I probably just shouldn't have fought over sweepers. Probably just a complete waste of my resources to fight over board wipes. But who knows.
Alright, not really looking for lands. Ah, uh, this doesn't really have any targets, so I guess it's going away. Play you. And I can swing at Teferi so I can't bounce anything. Keeping it just effectively useless, sort of. Could loot the lands, I don't know. What is Hall? It's it's Ward 3. Pretty easy for them to not die to that. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I have a choice. It's not like it's getting better. It literally is not getting better, so... Okay. Kind of weird, but sure. Hollow Storm Giants uh, is a giant, so it doesn't die to the non-giant sweeper, which is hilarious, actually. That's that's really funny. Wow. That's really crazy. Okay. So I'll do that, and I'll just pass. That's crazy. I don't think that's ever happened to me, ever. Gideon of the Trials? Okay, well, I can just... I have two man lands, so I can, like, attack that one with the one they don't target, I guess. But they probably have a removal spell for the one they didn't target. Gideon isn't too scary. That can be scary, but also can be useless. We'll see. I think I should not have played... Yeah, I don't... I shouldn't have countered sweepers, honestly. I don't... I shouldn't have countered those. It's probably stupid of me. I have, like, two additional counter spells at this point. Huh. I didn't, ex I didn't anticipate this as a possible draw... I don't think I would have countered Gideon, though. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, nope, four. Play Temple. Search is pretty good. And I can cast it now, and I should, because Pact is zero anyways. I think it just makes sense. These are both decent, but I obviously want to just cast this, so... This has been a weird game. Demonic Tutor. Alright, well. Um, I'm shields down to the extent of their knowledge, so they might just get something I can counter. I don't really know what else they could get that's super scary that's uncounterable. Nezahal? They don't really play that, though. We'll find out. I have to counter Teferi regardless, otherwise I can't actually cast Pact, so that doesn't really matter, right? I could just not counter Teferi and hope my manlands can just do the job. That is a possibility as well. I'm not countering the 7-7 seven, seven if they, like, go for it. I don't, I don't know. Is this flipping? It is flipping, unless they find an answer to it. I could find, uh... I don't know what answers Search for Wisconsin and Teferi. I don't actually know. I suppose Conqueror's Death doesn't, because it's like three and up. Alright, they figured it out. Um, yeah, Pact of Negation is useless with this in play, so I'm just gonna not let that be a thing. Um, Field of Ruin deals with my Ascanta, but it also would have to deal with the Manlands, right? So I can maybe overwhelm my opponent's resources in that regard. Who knows? 
Okay, so I play a land, and I think I just pass. I'm not hitting them this turn. Yeah, I think this is a fine turn to just pass the turn. I think I should activate it, probably. Uh, yep, I'll get a counterspell. My opponent knows about it, but it, it is a counterspell nonetheless. Alright, so this is a game where I really want Uro. Yeah, we can just overload Field of Field of Ruin, as we did. I want to know what they tutored for. <laughs> well, they know I have to do this, so no counterspell back. They just snap resolved. I have no idea what they tutored for. What is going on? Um, do I swing for seven and just try to kill them? I don't think that's a realistic outcome when they have a seven seven I don't have an answer to. So I think I'd rather just play this. And then I guess I'll just go get a land. And I'll pass. I think that's just better. I do have to counterspell Teferi again. Or I could just draw, maybe, now? No, because then all preceding counterspells are useless. Dream Trawler. Okay. They didn't have a counterspell last time. That probably makes sense as the target for their tutor. We can layer of the Hydra for a boatload and two-shot them, maybe? I don't think they're ever going to really tap lower than this. One, two, three, four, they have six mana. No counterspell in hand. Time wipe. That cannot be... It probably doesn't feel great for them. Kind of a weird decision, in my opinion. Kind of weird. But, alright, this is a very, very good draw. There's no opposing man land. Go pick up uh, Archmage's Charm. Or maybe I just pick up something else. Pick up Pack the Negation so I can still use my mana for other purposes. I think Pack the Negation is just better. So I can just do this. Yeah, that's probably fine. It's a 5 minute counterspell, but I think I'll live. I will not counter that. It's annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It is now dead. Should probably plus this first. I guess I'll name Time Warp. My opponent now knows it's in my deck, but it's probably pretty obvious that's in my deck. So, All right, build over some lands and an Essence Scatter. Not terribly useful. Found a clean answer to this. Thick boy. And I think I'm fine just sitting back and not swinging with a man land. I have a scry land here and a counter spell. Opponent seems to be in top deck mode when it comes to like threats. Could be kind of wrong, but we'll see. I assume they just top deck that because they didn't play it last turn. Elspeth Conquer's death is annoying. Probably just kills Ujin though and not Tamio. It basically has... I mean, either or is just good, right? So, it's one or the other up to them. Yep, yeah, okay. Either or, just... It is what it is, right? Okay, so we go here. We activate this. We activate this because it's... Just, I guess, better mana-wise. Hmm. Let's decline to play for... Pay for uh, Pact and Negation and lose the game. Shark Typhoon is an excellent draw in the face of uh, what we just played against. I'll pick up Pact again. I like the cheap zero mana counter spell. It doesn't make a shark, but it plays around uh, Elspeth's tax for the turn, which is kind of what I need it to do. Look at that zero mana shark. Look at that thick boy. 
All right, so they get to reanimate something that's kind of a problem. And by kind of a problem, I mean like a huge problem. But uh, I don't really have a... I don't have anything I can do about that. I guess we'll just swing for seven. Or we could just do nothing. I kind of like just doing nothing. Because we have Shark Typhoon. I can just amass so many sharks that, like, the only... The best threat is probably Dream Trawler and not Teferi. But I feel like they're going to take Teferi. <laughs> yep, they should take Dream Trawler, but they took Teferi. And it... No, it didn't even minus on Shark Typhoon, so now I don't know what's going on. Tails End... Yeah, Tails End was cast... Well, we had four mana because of this. We could still cast Tails End. You're right. I would have had a shark in play if I did that. I assume this is what they generate. It's not what they generated. It's not what they generated. Okay, that's just in the deck. Okay. So I need like a hard counter and I need it to literally work. Let's, uh, I guess, grow spiral first. Oh, that is an instant. Sweet. That was actually a really good draw. Uh, let's take wash away. Oh, Teferi is dead. Ooh, Uro. Ooh, comma. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Figured as much. Uh, Shark Typhoon is just going to run away to the game. Teferi is dead, and we can probably kill them before they get to approach. But if you make it this far as a Teferi player, or, well, just blue-white control player, I don't think this is a time of scoop. You have one, two... I assume this card is totally dead and useless. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... You're drawing, this is dead, you're at 30. You have no card at all that draws cards, except this. But you now know of a way for me to not let you resolve that. There's a pretty decent chance you're dead before you get to it, but I don't think this is a time to scoop. It was a very swingy game, like we had a decent opener. Um, I mean, the familiar died instantly, but uh, where's the, yeah, familiar died and I didn't actually get to do the thing. But I should have, technically, in this game, I feel like I should have had two more counter spells because I countered two board wipes, and that probably just isn't right to counter board wipes. Now, the board wipes would have been good at this point in the game because they probably still maybe would have had them in hand. Um, they would have plussed here and had a way to actually kill this because uh, they had an actual sweeper that dealt with it in hand. So... It ended up working out that I countered the sweepers because they wound up um, being in a spot where they would have been good later, which is unfortunate. So, um, yeah. Now, with that being said, I could always counter them later as well. It's not like, you know, if I don't counter them, I, lo I still lose a counter spell. So I could have not countered these and countered them later um, with the same cards, right? Would have spent my mana maybe in a weird time or something. It would have been different, but if I had just done that, I think we would have been a little bit in a just a slightly better position. We saw more cards than them, which is crazy. We did have Ascanta. Um, this drew three cards, and those cards were insane. In fact, this was probably MVP of the game because I got two man lands off of it, which is really good because I happen to have Nissa. It's very uncommon, but we actually had it. We didn't go face with this, ever. Crazy game. Very swingy. Felt like we were way... I mean, we were actually top-decking, and we top-decked out of it. That's that's wild. Wow. Um, you could say it boils down to what they tutored for with the Key of the Archive tutor they got, which seemed to be Dream Trawler with no counterspell backup. Um, because they didn't get approached the second sun, which if they did, I guess we would have lost because they would have had their own version, their own copy. Well, GG, that was a cool game. But uh, I don't think I would have scooped there. I think I would have attempted to try to get to the approach. I don't think that's an un unreliable 
uh, a, like attempt, right? Especially how I actually have to counter to fairy first or three fairy just because uh, if I don't, none of my counter spells work. So I I would have to do that first before I kind of do anything. So it's interesting. I wish there was a way to like play only against it. Like you just have all the control players play against themselves, and like so I could play games like that all the time. Because I feel like there's so much to talk about and so many decisions, and it's very interesting. Whereas like a game against Naya tokens probably won't wind up being terribly interesting, as we're either dead very fast, or wow, this hand is weird, or. Uh, we die slowly. I don't. I don't know. We probably can't beat this, can we? Shoot. Probably not. I don't know. This is a rough one. This is actually pretty good against regular control. Just surprisingly, at least given what I've played and stuff. So, Jet Mirror. I still don't think I like it. I think of all the token strategies, this is a. Uh, it's. I don't know. I think I just prefer Chatterfang. That's just me though. Alright, I'm going to play this as a land. Do we play this? What are we scared of? If we can... Actually, you know what? We probably should play this, because I'm not doing anything. Yeah. What am I talking about? I actually can't use my meta for anything. What, are you going to lightning bolt this? you going to swords to plowshares? Okay. What? I would... N okay. Alright. That is the Mythic Rare Saga. Alright, we got Reclamation. It's not looking, like, amazing right now, but this is obviously the best card in our deck, so happy to see it, I guess. Yeah, Jetmir is swift and painless. What are you... What is going on over there, opponent? Okay, that is fine. I'm gonna do this, get rid of the forest, get a double forest maybe we only need one green source i mean we do need two let's be real okay that's fine it's weird getting rid of a forest getting two forests i don't think i've ever had that like sequence before but more lands are better so we're gonna do that let's play you i think i'm just gonna time warp to get rid of it cycle it get closer to flipping Ascanta and stuff supreme will is all right so I get to cast my commander. I get to float two. Wait, let me do this right. Put a stop there. There we go. Because you're forced to go to your end step. Float, float, untap, and activate. I think that's a good idea because I don't want to get rid of this or anything else. Just use my mana efficiently. Disdainful stroke. Oh boy. All right, so River's Rebuke is all right against what's going on right now. Kind of. That's why I'm not, like, terribly scared of it. This is kind of annoying, but not really. Not really. Jet Mirror. Okay, so we don't have to counter this. We can't just bounce everything. Yeah, we're probably going to wind up doing that. We're not immediately dead, so... If we're ever going to beat Jet Mirror, this is probably how we do it. Command Tower, okay. River the Rilda's Reclamation was just such a good draw. I'm going to block because I don't expect them to have any effect at zero mana to kill this. Alright, so that can go bye bye car. This can be on blue. Put a stop here so I don't have to do any math. Reset the board. I have one, two, three, four, five. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Alright, so let's see. We have one, two, how much mana in hand? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we can use this mana plus 2 to activate this and still leave up 2 counter spells. Probably would just do that so I don't waste this 2 mana here to just simply draw a card. Maybe not necessary, but I don't think this game was over. I'm very surprised this did the min. Probably just wanted to move on to the next game because I didn't actually even deal with this because it goes back to hand. I didn't deal with this either, because it's it's it comes back to hand. I literally didn't deal with anything. Everything they played can be played again. And all of this was excess from the things that I'm bouncing. I yeah, I didn't even get a chance to bounce or not bounce this and have it just go away forever, so 
not not a an unreasonable comeback. Like this is sort of Jetmir's fine. Just keep going. But, okay. We had counter spells, obviously, but they don't necessarily know that, right? You should maybe make me have it first. Okay. I mean, this isn't like super competitive, right? I'm not playing ranked or anything. So people just want to move on. That's fine. I keep saying I want to play ranked again and make ranked uh, videos, but I just don't. Histor I would play historic unless Explorer actually got like super interesting. I would uh, do that. You can use this list. Yeah, this, this is pretty cool. It's cool. I, I mean, I did beat something I thought was just not reliably beatable. But we did have the good card to beat him. With that in mind, I like the search spell. Um, oh, excuse me. Uh, where is it? What is it called? Solve the equation so I can maybe consistently get something that would get me out of a bind. Second copy of uh, River's Rebuke there seems nice. Mission briefing, they do it again too even. Is there any way to consistently find um, Wilderness Reclamation? I don't think so. Also, no. I think of all the green decks I've played, this probably isn't the one for Cultivator. Every time this is played against me though, it's, it's cost two mana, which is just like insane really good at two yeah solve the equation does not find enchantments though i want ways to get reclamation and i don't think there really is a way to do that in blue green search for a creature that could search for one that doesn't that doesn't get me out of the, out of the question i do not believe there is a card that does that i want to play body research but Every time it's in my deck, I'm like, ah, shoot. I'd rather play something else on six. Yeah, I don't believe there's a card in the game that lets me find Wilderness Reclamation. We have, we don't have a three minute enchantment, do we? No, we could remedy that. Yes, we do. I can go like search, sack it into this, sack it into reclamation. I lose my search, but who cares? I got reclamation. No, that's too, I don't have enough consistent that's not consistent enough. I don't like it. Cultivator? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, anything's good if I have Wilderness Reclamation and it has to leave out counter spells. I do like Cultivator. I do like it. It's in my uh, Maelstrom Wanderer deck. Uh, I am slightly lighter on average than the average like person, right? I have 33 lands. People probably run like 42. I have like 10 on average less lands. It's working out, though. We do have these cards to guarantee that we don't miss our lands. And again, this is sort of plan B. Get in the explore values, all right. But that makes Cultivator way worse, right? It's like a 1 in 3 as opposed to like a 1 in... Uh, like 2.5 or something. So you just go off with it. It's still a good card as it is. It's like a Renin 6 token that just replaces your lands in hand with actual spells. But I don't know. This probably isn't the deck for it. I, I'm probably not the player for the de uh, the card, I should say. <laughs> I'm not the player for the card because I'm just greedy with my mana base. Uh, Nissa, Nissa probably a little bit worse too, just with that in mind. The zero at least. But I mean, it scries for the land. So that's not like it. You're just like windmill slamming zeros. Or you don't have to. Never seen Jace, but what 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 have we not liked? Maybe Oracle's not necessary. Kind of sketched about Oracle and Augur. I don't know. I'm not really feeling them. Yeah, I think we can drop Oracle and Augur and then put in like some. I want like some kind of just 
dummy thick threat, like some kind of creature that's just annoying to deal with, that's like kind of big but not expensive. Uh, the blue, yeah, the blue, uh, Sivuzuvuvu? Sivuzuvillum? Sivuzuvuv? This isn't bad, right? It would have been decent against Jetmir. It's not like it can't block. This is a really big merfolk. A blue creature that's a 3 minute 3 4 is actually kind of. It's actually crazy, isn't it? Usually like this or this. This. It's like a 3 minute 3 4. That's really. There's a lot of stats for a blue creature. That's really pushed. You know, like Tempest Jin. I'd call Tempest Jin pushed, but that's mono blue. You're like, you can't reasonably use other lands, right? Hmm. I had Nezal in here for two seconds. I really did. I do kind of like Thrag Tusk, though. I don't have a way to blink it, and there are blink effects in blue. So we're, like, losing something there, maybe. And I think Elder Gargaroth is better than uh, Thrag Tusk in every way. So I, I, w I don't think you, you play Thrag Tusk anymore at all. Like, if you're not playing Gargaroth, you're you're definitely not playing Thrag Tusk, because uh, Thrag Tusk is... In it, like, I don't know. Elder Gargaroth is just way better. Um, hmm. I do like Nezahal, but it's like overkill, right? We already have Kama. If we're getting to six and casting six drops, I think we're probably just winning, right? They're like swingy enough. I don't think I need another one. But it was in here for a second. It was in here for a second. Yeah, Thassa can blink it, but what else does Thassa do? If I'm just playing Thassa and it only has two targets in my entire deck, I don't like it. I think that's uh, worth it. And like much like every time I play Heliod, I will never get Devotion for Thassa. The tap is cool, I guess, but then I'm tapping things and not doing this. So I, I don't like it for that either. Yeah, Elder, Elder Gargaroth draws cards, also makes three threes. And can gain you life. And it's when it attacks and blocks. So you can have it happen twice in a turn cycle. It really stonewalls your opponent's uh, advancement if they're a creature deck. Usually, unless they have a removal spell, obviously, right? <laughs> you alt at 4 d2, that's funny. Yeah, I do like Biogenic Ooze. I really do like the card, but I don't know if this is the deck for it. I do like the card, though. Null Hide. Let's play Null Hide and turn off our counter spells. Yeah. Let's play Gigantosaurus and really stick it to him. Yeah, Biogenic Ooze is pretty cool. It is another mana sink that also is four mana, triple green, and we're way more into blue, right? Sometimes we only have one green source, and that's enough to do this. Um, and obviously between these two, I'm probably going to be activating this as my mana sink and not really this. So it's, a, it's an unnecessarily, or an unnecessary, uh, overlap. Now with that said, I do like Cavalier. Maybe we can drop mass manipulation. We're really good against control decks. It seems like really good against control decks and against creature based decks. This is kind of useless. So it's really only against Super Friends decks that I'm not already like good against, which I kind of put closer to a controlled strategy, which we are good against. So this might not be the deck for mass manipulation. I just find the card satisfying and cool. But I think I'll run Cavalier. It is triple green. There's going to be a... Shoot, it is triple green. Hmm... It's triple green. Maybe I just like this. It was in here for two seconds. I haven't played the card before. It flies. It's hard to. It's annoying. It replaces itself with a decent token. Um, if it dies, I get man lands. And putting lands into my hand is great with my commander. So actually, maybe it is better in every way. All right, let's do that. We didn't need these to beat something like Jekmir, but I think it was an anomaly that we just kind of swiftly defeated it they did miss a land too i think i think the majority of their deck stops at three regardless though <clears throat> excuse me 
Corvold. All right, not super aggressive, but keeps up with me in cards. <laughs> Look at that. I got both. I got both. Um. Mm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. I don't know how to All right. Oh god. I don't actually know what the blue dragon does. That's a good question. The hand looks nice, but is it good? Alright, you into you. This is Jund. I don't expect this to survive. But maybe it does, because my opponent's not threatened by it. It actually does nothing next turn. And by nothing, I mean stone cold nothing. Um, this is an awkward spot. Do I like Corvold Resolve? Probably not. Play a land and pass. It's a really not great turn to pass just for a single spell that might not even be cast, but I don't want Corvold to come into play and then I lose the game. Binding of the Old Gods. Okay, well, I wouldn't have countered that regardless. So that's fine. Another counter spell. Okay, well, if the board is empty this late into the game, we'll probably just take it easy and not do anything. Perforos, what do you do? Other creatures you control of haste, put a red creature or artifact from your hand on the battlefield and sack it later. Um, I have to get rid of counter spells in hand to just open up other things, and they're kind of low on cards, so I think that's fine. I'm not going to crack those. Alright, we're going to play, probably cultivate, so my opponent isn't scared of a counter spell, even though we do actually have one. So, island, island. Let that happen. Probably tails in uh, Corvold if they go for it. Counter Beanstalk Giant, because I don't really have a clean answer to it. Oh, right, we countered a... Uh, what did we just counter? A creature. This is a creature and an enchantment. So, we actually uh, discounted both of our Thick Boys. That's really cool. Treasure chest, it's fine. Okay, I mean, of everything my opponent could do, this is not really scary. I will counter that, though. That's a little annoying. Keep the board clean as well. Alright, so we play this one? Or do we play this one? I think we're just going to play this one. This one's just a little bit better. And I guess I'll play this as a land? Yeah, because we're probably going to dump our hand before... Yeah. Okay. Probably going to draw a card. What does this do? Pay life, treasure, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That was a really, 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 really good draw. I think I'm going to make it 3-3 three, three and go a little bit wide here. Drawing card is nice, though, but I think if I could just swamp them in pressure, I think that's fine. So let's play Nissa, and let's play... Well, wait, 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 cancel. Let's play this first. Oh, I can't play both. I don't have enough green. I guess I should have cultivated for another green source. Not too often. I need more than two, though. Um, of the two, I think this is a little bit better in the face of what we're up against specifically, so it's fine. They can't realistically block it with Corvold, but this also really incentivizes them to play Corvold, which I'm sure they're just going to do. <laughs> Never mind, they played that. This has to sacrifice a creature, right? Yeah, okay. I'm sure they will. And then they ping something. This is a very, very good card to steal. They're almost just straight dead that now I can steal that. They might just scoop to this. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. This is a weird deck, but when it comes together... We played both the creatures. We just added to the deck, too. That's kind of funny. And they were both very, very good. They did not need, uh, need to be discounted, either, I don't think. I'm trying to think here. Level 5. Oh, I guess they... No, they didn't, because we played this tapped. I was going to say we had two mana up when we played these on four, but no, we actually could have just still left up Tails End when we needed to. Interesting. I think every time I've played against Corvold since the set came out, they've actually played this card against me. It's kind of cool. Okay, yeah. Get wrecked, I guess. Well. Stole a permanent, and it worked out. Is there another good thing that steals stuff? Agent of Treachery? Should we put Agent of Treachery in here? Is that a good idea? Should we do that? I think we should. Agent of Treachery would just... I would just run Fossa. Honestly, you can make a deck completely around the card. Mono blue Agent of Treachery, and then just... Counter spells until you find it, and then blink it infinitely, or something. I actually don't have a paper copy of that card. I do I do want a paper copy of it. I think it's pretty cool. Well, it's egregious, but it can win the game. But so does Nexus of Fate, so it's not like that great. Opponent's playing Leyline. I wonder if we could do this. It does kind of remedy the Oh actually, wait a minute. Is this another copy of a uh, Wilderness Reclamation where I can play my own Bajanka Jank at my on my own turn? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, let's play you. I really don't want Haro in this instance at all, but beggars can't be choosers. I might not even cast Haro. I think I'm not going to cast Haro, because they have a counter spell, and I'm not going to run into it. I'd rather just have more stuff coming. Yeah, Agent of Treachery Deadeye Navigator is pretty dope. You know what's even better? Agent of Treachery Field of the Dead, so you don't actually have to play any other creatures. And still not die to the creatures that your opponent playing with ramp spells. Alright, let's see. Green, green. Let's do this. I am going to simply activate here. I don't really care if it dies in response. I think we already got enough value out of it. We're already a little bit ahead now. Let's play that. Pass. They can play anything at instant speed here. Okay, there we go. There's a chance they just never go for their commander. It's not unreasonable. A lot of red mana from them right now. Uh, let's just... Haro. I don't care if it gets counterspelled this time. It's not super... Like, it's not bad. If it gets counterspelled, I'll, I'll live. They could be hard-pressed to counter it if I do anything on my own turn. But again, I think I can go down a land because I kind of cheated wanted to play with a Gretchen activation. <laughs> They cast Vadric. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Dead Eye Navigator is pretty good. Alright, land. Only four, blah, blah, blah. I guess we'll just cast this, and then we'll have access to the other side of it later. I think I want another force just to be safe. Pass the turn. I kind of like where we are right now, but they do have a lot of cards, so who knows. They might even have Lightning Bolt in hand. They can play their entire deck on my turn, because of this Ley Line I don't have an answer to, so I'll never see them resolve anything on my own turn. Alright, didn't respect Wash Away, get wrecked. Alright, that's pretty good in this spot. It's a lot of activations. We'll see how good it is. A lot of girl spirals. Big score, fine. Oh, I love those treasure cards. Love those treasure cards. 
I don't know why they didn't do it on my turn, though. Oh, they want to find a land to actually play. Yeah, that makes sense. Dude, we're going to spam this. Are we actually going to spam this right now? <gasps> yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. No lands. Who cares, dude? Who cares? Let's go get a land here. Probably a guild gate? Oh, we don't have one. All right. Who cares? Oh, my God. That was great. Saw some for two. We're both at max life total, too. This game is wild. Oh, man, dude. We just drew so many cards. We get to do it again? Oh, my God. Oh, when this comes together like this, it's just... This is dirty. Okay, you can have a treasure token. And then do nothing. Cool. Oh, yes! <laughs> Let me do this. Let me die and have this be my eternity. This is heaven. This is Nirvana. Oh, when we get lands, it basically costs one mana every time we put a land in play. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm actually going to ping myself just to be super greedy. This is just... What are we doing? What is this? This is this this is actually this might actually be a war crime, dude. I could get arrested for this. This is questionable. Alright. <laughs> I wanna make this as a commander just from the familiar or uh training grounds does something similar as well. I don't even care if it dies. Shoot. Yeah, you can kill it right now, I'll tap out. I don't care. You know how much cars you know what you know how much I just drew? Who cares? Alright. Guess we'll stop. All right, sauce them for two. Have infinite value. Our opponent's going to struggle bus to get out of this, but it's not impossible. I could make it so they have to recast Leyline. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I could do it. Be careful. I'm going to go to discard already. Uh, sorcery, expel each creature. This is a sorcery. Okay. I'll just absorb energy. I'll absorb its energy. Yeah, it was, a, it was a classic 20 for 1. I don't know why they waited till I untapped to cast this. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Like, at all. We could get a land off of this. I think I will. Because I don't... No, no, let's get a non-land. Let's not be stupid. And then, uh... I mean, we could just pass. Who cares? I guess I will cast... No, maybe we don't cast Grow Spiral. It's kind of the same, but this way I get to like maybe keep a hand my a card my opponent doesn't know about in hand. We get to do this again. Ooh, opponent, this is not looking good, dude. This is not looking good. All right, I'm just gonna cast Girl Spiral. Let's get out of hand. We're not like getting spells or lands, but I think that's kind of fine because I'm doing all this. Okay, well if you're gonna do that, you probably should have done it a little bit earlier. I don't know why you did it now. Like, my worst enemy is tapping too low? I guess? Supreme Will. Resolve. Pay three? Oh, I don't even have to counter back. I can just pay for it. Okay. Yeah, whoops. Whoops. Either they didn't realize, or they came to the conclusion that after I drew 25 cards, this is all but over. Um, but I could have just let Vagic resolve, though. I can just let it resolve. It's not doing anything. Who cares? Like, it, they can't resolve any spells anyways. It is not doing anything. We didn't see any combat trick pump spells that people tend or some decks play with this so they can make uh, crazy cards cheap in the same turn. Like, they pump this up to, like, 10 with a combat trick or something and then cast a bunch of spells or whatever for a lot of mana. But, wow, we actually beat Leyline just sitting in play. That's, that's really nice. But their whole deck is basically instant speed anyways. I don't think this is the deck for... I don't think Vadric in any way is, is close to being the blue-green deck you want to... You want to play this card with. Now, with that in, in mind, we are playing a deck that really wants to play Leyline of Anticipation. It is almost a Wilderness Reclamation where I don't feel bad 
not casting my uh, Thick Boys and stuff. I can actually just do it on my opponent's turn if I don't have anything else to do. But it kind of overlaps with dumping my mana into Gretchen's ability. But either way, I think Leyline is totally reasonable. Don't own the card, because why would I? But this is certainly the deck for it. And then there's another... What, what was the card we were talking about? Uh, the, the Dragon... This is a blue one. Six mana, six, six, flying ward three. When it dies, bounce any number of permanents, six or less. Mill six and get two instants or sorceries. Not bad. Not bad. It does cost six mana, though. We did add another card that makes it easy to cast or feel less bad about it. Well, I'm going to craft this. In fact, Leyline of Anticipation, it's in my, or no, it was in my Madrotha list. I don't think it's in it now. I don't think it's in my Maelstrom Wanderer deck either because cascading on your opponent's turn is a little not great, so I'm not running it there either. But you could. You could. It's never bad. Yeah, this yeah, this is cool. I like that card. It's it's creeping up in value too, because there's a colorless version of this. Something or Vidalkin Orrery or something, and it's like 70 bucks. And then this is the same thing, except it's just in blue and not colorless, so everything can play it. But um, I do like Leyline of Anticipation, like a lot. It's not good with Planeswalkers, though, but it's, it's all right. I think it's worth trying. So what do we drop? Kind of like everything so far that we're, like, playing. Maybe Omen of the Sea is a weird one. It's like a wonky cantrip that has no... Oh, but so is Wizard Class. It's like a divination, except it's not divination. And there's times where I might flood my hand with cards, but if you have ten cards and you're discarding to seven, and your opponent has, like, three cards, you win anyways. Like, oh no, you have to get rid of the three worst cards in your hand, you're still winning. Yeah, this probably is not a Wizard Class deck. I just liked it as a one-drop, but... Yeah, Prophet of Crufix. Oh, dude, imagine. Imagine. That's, I mean, that's banned in regular EDH, too. Good lord, imagine it here. Oh my god. I miss that card. It's one of my favorite cards in Modern. Well, multiplayer. Because I like making multiplayer decks for Modern. I think that's always fun. Like, my Walls deck. Um, Fungus is terrible one-on-one, -on -one, but has a very good chance of winning in multiplayer. Or I should say it's decent. It's not totally dead in multiplayer, which I think is really cool. Alright, this is mono blue, but it's playing Thassa. There's not too many blink things in mono blue. Let's, I guess let's find out the hard way. Yeah, Thassa's, yeah, that that's a, uh... no, excuse me. You said Prophet of Crufix, and then I saw War Criminal, and I instantly thought about Thassa's Oracle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess they're both ward criminals, let's be real. Alright, let's go get a land. Am I not running the Gilgate? I guess I'm not. Alright, I think I'll live. Let's just, go, let's just get a forest here. I don't feel bad about getting a forest, because I can just harrow it away, and we have all the green we really need anyways. Turn this forest into double island. No, what are you doing? No! Oh. Toxic. That is toxic, dude. All right. Let's see what's on top. Poop. Pass. I'm not going to counter Thassa. I'll just counter everything around it. If Thassa's, like, just sitting there, I don't think I care too much. Now, if this is mono... Ooh. Okay, what does this do? Draw a card, reveal it. Okay, so currently it is just Crystal Ball. Until they, like, draw, like, lands off it or something. Sure. Let's get rid of, I guess, the only single tapped color here. Just get two islands. Yeah, Thassa's Oracle was... That was weird. That was a weird idea. Okay. This is not good. This is a game where we really wish we had our commander, and now we just don't. But it is what it is. Opponent 
has a good line to remedy said situation. I will just pass. They're not putting any serious threats in play yet, but that's probably going to change soon. They did scry to the top. This is literally Crystal Ball. That's like more of a Crystal Ball than the Nissa is. It's kind of funny. That's kind of cool. I love me a good Crystal Ball. All right. Uh, Engines of Battlefield tap. Doesn't untap during your static reflection. Okay. So they can blink that over and over with Thassa. I probably would have countered it had I a counter in hand. Uh, well, this isn't great because my opponent knows about it, but E is what E is. Let's go get an island again. Play said island. I can't blink this, or I can't witness protection it because they'll just uh, Thassa it and I just I lose it. But I have to counter Thassa if they ever like go for it. Jace does sometimes draw cards, right? Draw a card, reveal it, remove the number of loyalty counters, yeah. So it does actually draw cards on top of Scrying. But they have not even tried to do that. Probably feel fine being at parody with me. I have to agree with their decision. Okay. I don't care if mine resolves or not. I'm just going to cast it. Probably just counter spells if they have any. I'm sure they do. Land, Mind Stone. Um, do we cast Solve the Equation? I mean, we can't dump our mana into Gretchen this game. Wow, that was just so good, huh? Yeah. It does make it so I play on my own turn more, though, right? We'll pass. Wait till next turn to do some weird stuff? Don't think we're in a bad spot. Six mana, please don't be... Alright, draw two, discard two. That is fine. Faithless looting, instant speed. My opponent's getting the dream. Curse of Surveillance. Okay, I can't let that resolve. That's, uh... That is a Phyrexian. It's the blue Phyrexian arena. You just draw two cards a turn. And then just fall behind. Still not zeroing this. Interesting. It's kind of safe to just zero it. Scry is two on top. Okay. How important is this Mind Stone? What are we doing with it? Alright, we're going to get rid of Mind Stone. I mean, I might even pick it up with Tameo. Although, no, I have better things to do. Shark Typhoon is quite nice. It is uh, really good here. Do we just Windmill Slam it? Leave up three mana. Um, no hard counter to deal with it, but they're mono blue, so they probably don't actually deal with this. Still have Essence Scatter, but they scribe two on top. They have access to both cards. What's nice about Gretchen is they can't swing with a giant thing, otherwise Gretchen just... Uh, does bad things to them. Scry's two on top again. They knew about one of them. Clouds can seer? Oh, Pony, you're really making me question my life right now. What are you... What is going on? Alright, I'm going to attempt to deny access to the cards they know about on top. I'm not upset about a counter back. In fact, I think that's quite favorable for us. Okay, what do we mill here? Enchantment, Menadork, Wash Away. Wash Away would have been decent. But now they're kind of low. Uh, we can play around Spell Pierce, and now Time Warp is almost guaranteed to resolve. I wonder if they trade with the 2-2. Two -two. Let's find out before we do anything. Swinging at Jace probably isn't even a good idea. And killing their Cloud Seer is also probably not a good idea. So It's not really anything they can do to... Rep yep, alright, this is really good. I'm going to respect Spell Pierce if I can help it. And just do this. Actually, you know what? I should have kicked this. Probably should have kicked this. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't. Too late. They have a one-minute spell that is apparently castable. 
But Shark Typhoon is going to pull ahead so fast, it probably doesn't matter what we do. Uh, Discover's alright. Discover's alright. I don't think we want to invoke. We could get a counterspell, or we could just get Discover. Yeah, let's just get Discover. Three random spells is probably fine, right? Alright, so we go to combat before we do anything again. This one min is kind of irritating me. It looks like it's an unsummon or something. Let's just deny Jace's ability to uh, continue breathing. Un it is an unsummon! It is an unsummon! Look at that. Okay, so they block the three or the two, maybe? Could just let it take some beats. It's fine. All right, so land, let's, uh, they'll probably scoop now, actually. They'll probably just scoop, yeah. We probably just have it. Most people just scoop to this, so. Let's see. Nope, they didn't. A lot of people do. Okay, I just name a random card. Don't think about it too much. There, there, and there. This, 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 and that, there. Kill Jace. Smash him. Slam Bam. Uh, we have Nissa and Nissa's Triumph, so we can get man lands and stuff. Do this for one. Yep. Get a 3-3, three, because three, I spent 3 mana. Uh, let's cast this first, so I actually... They could have, like, a bounce spell, right? But that's totally fine. I don't think we're losing to that. Yeah, like I thought. Uh, just a slow scoop, but the Tamiyo extra turn is probably just enough for them to scoop. I don't need counter spells anymore. They know the card on top, because they scried to the top. Only drew 2... Yeah, alright, so they might not know the top deck, but, uh, curious deck from the opponent. Curious deck, yeah, <laughs> look at us calling it. It's definitely unsummoned, because it's a one mana blue spell, but they didn't immediately cast it, and you can discern what it is more so because of how they scryed. They scryed, um, before they would cast a cantrip, like Brainstorm or Opt or something, Consider. So it, well, they scry two on top, so it, we know it's not consider. Um, you can just discern that it's probably not a cantrip, because we would have seen it by now. We would have seen it before they scry two. Uh, you, probably. Um, and even if they did scry two, they'd probably just cast it after they scry two to put the cards in there or something. But it is pretty, it's pretty obvious to me at least that it's something like this and not something else. And we know it's not spell pierce because it's, it's castable when there's nothing on the stack. Yeah. Some people play 4D chess with you and hold control so they get into your head and you don't know what they're playing, but usually people don't do that. Unfortunately, Magic Arena gives you a ton of free information given of how given how priority is held between the players. It's kind of a uh, unfortunate, but that it is what it is, right? It's like Hearthstone, except um, you can pick up information because you have instants, right? Kind of like that if you play Arsenal. Which I do. I like I like playing Hearthstone. Speaking of Hearthstone, um, this game will probably be over before we know it, one way or the other. Typically not in our favor. Hand is pretty decent. Not terribly excited about it, but it's alright, I guess. In a weird spot if we play this turn two or play it as a land later. You can't play it as your Gretchen land, though. But putting Gretchen in play early is not terribly exciting. This doesn't help me cast Invoke the Winds. Not really. But it is Ramp Spell, and it's the only one I have. I think I just need to cast it. I don't even have a land, so like if I do this, I can regrowth and then like double blue into Invoke Jet Mirror or something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh dear. Let's go get two islands. That is not what we wanted to see. I could have, like, represented a counterspell, but I don't think they can afford or would play around anything anyways. Something is realistic. Okay. Blue source? Oh, it's tapped. Oh, it's tapped. Oh, it's tapped. Oh, 
dude, so close. Oh, wait, well, I mean, we can still take Jetmir. It's not Chatterfane. They're not making squirrels. They're not making squirrels with it. It's just, it's just Jetmir. And I can make it so they have to kill it before they can utilize it. It is a 5-4. Okay, that can go bye-bye car. Land? Uh, well, I guess I kind of got to land. I think I'm going to cycle time warp, actually. I think that's a good idea. Counterspell. Well, we don't have access to it, and we're not casting an next turn opponent's loan resources. Oh, this would be decent. This would be decent, but no. I, I, if I don't do this, I'm dead. So let's uh, do that. So I'm not dead. Don't you mouse over your own jet mirror. Don't kill your own jet mirror. That is not how magic is played. You don't kill your own commander. It's against the rules to kill your own commander. You got half the parts of your new PC. CPU, power supply, hard drive. You didn't already have a hard drive that, like, worked? Oh, no, they answered their own thing. Toxic. Hmm. Okay, well, we're back to having no decent blockers to this. Gretchen is, in fact, a decent blocker, but is it good enough? Who knows? Tune in next time. Play this. Play Wilderness Reclamation, End Step. Let's play that. Is there anything to do with this one mana? I don't think so. I make two one ones. I'm not going to swing. Oh wait, no, this doesn't untap with reclamation, so no, it, it literally doesn't matter. All right, so we have maybe one or two turns before we're Omega screwed. Take five. A six, man. It's fine. Six is not dead. I do need Discover to be important for us. Non-token. Okay. That's fine. Killing Gretchen does not seem all that bad for us, I guess. I don't know, kind of weird. At least you're not doing anything else that you're just going to do. Block there. One, two, three, four, five. This makes it so we're not dead. I can witness protection in another three, three. I might not have a choice. Are we dead to Jetmir next turn? What does Jetmir do when you have five creatures? One plus one plus zero. Oh. So Jetmir, another creature, we're screwed. If they Jetmir, just Jetmir, and I put that there and block this, take four, I'm not dead dead? What about an 8-8? Eight, eight? An 8-8 eight, eight is similar to this, except this is... This is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, they can make two 1-1s? One, Oh, that's so annoying. Mm. Block there. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven. No, dude, not like this. Rabble rousing. We're dead. We're dead on board. Four, five, six, seven. One blocker. If they alpha strike, we're dead. Whether or not this resolves, let's see if they swing. There is no card in my deck that stops me from dying right now. That sucks. But again, closer than I would have expected it to be. Wait, was it close? What are we actually what are we actually doing next turn that makes it suddenly not close? No, I think we're just Oh wait, we can tap everything down. What does that do? Yeah, see, this is why I think Hideaway is stupid. I think this card is... I think this card may have actually been misworded when they made it. Because you get a token for everything that swings. So if you have an army of tokens, you instantly double it. Like, I, this card just seems kind of insane. Obviously, doubling it again with this is... It, it is what it is, but just getting, like, six tokens from this is crazy. What are we doing next turn that would, like, make this not bad? Mm, mm. Tap everything down. Mm. So, Kira 
witness protection would save us if I went boom boom because this would be a 1-1 one, one and not a 3-3 three, three. we'd go to 2 instead of dead then what untap this is not in play because we had a different line um, that would still kind of force me to counter this because then we'd have to figure out a way to survive at 2 I can't I don't know what my card for the turn is though so all right, I guess killing... No, killing Gretchen didn't matter. Not really. It really did matter. Like, we block with it a couple times and take a little bit less damage, but we're probably still just dead because it's, it's just what it does. Jet mirror, right? That sucks. But that's probably more of a reasonable outcome than the last time we played against it, but still closer than I thought. Or we had more back of, back and forth than you, you would have thought. You would have anticipated Okay, so it's another kind of control mirror, except their actual commander is uncounterable, and then when it resolves, we're in serious issue, because every time anyone casts anything, they draw cards. Uh, Nylea's Intervention can kill it, but that's not really great. It's not like a great way to do that. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, unfortunately, they have a lot of dead spells, if it wasn't for Gretchen, a lot of like burn spells and stuff that aren't are now not dead, because we have something that they can just like lava lash and flame slash or whatever. We'll see how it pans out though. Looks like a can trip. I highly doubt it's wash away. You know? Even if it was wash away, I don't even know if you'd cast it here. Probably just wash away something else. Add just a three minute counter spell instead. <laughs> All right, it's not a mana rock. Speaking of Minerox, I think we're playing our own right now. Sauce them for one. I mean zero. Sauce them with one. Are you instantly drawing? Why don't you just wait? Yeah, that was weird. That would be a good spell if I ever get to resolve it. I guess I'll just passing. It would be really nice to get Shark Typhoon in play, let me tell you. It would be really nice. Yep, there you go. I think that was your plan anyways. Shark Typhoon could definitely pull us just straight out of this issue here of an uncounterable massive threat. I think I'm going to activate Gretchen, not cast Supreme Will. I don't... Are you killing Gretchen here? That doesn't seem right. Oh, well, that's bad. Okie dokie. I don't think I would have played Shark Typhoon there if I had six mana. They played a colorless lamb. Baral is really annoying. Uh, Tails End probably doesn't have too many targets. So just windmill slam that. See what happens. Baral's annoying though. But we got a Tails End target. Can't be too upset. Can't Tails End Niv visit. You gotta love it when your choose one cards make it so you can't make a mistake. It's always nice, right? Alright, they blow up my man land. Okay, I didn't even realize I actually had it in play. Very far from using it. Decent against their 5-5 uh, five, five flyer, I guess. But uh, probably not good enough to actually win. But it fixes their colors, which is probably more of a reason I actually do that. You're running miscast? Okay, well. Guess we just never stood a chance, huh? Let's get rid of Nylea's intervention, I think. It does deal with niv -Mizzet, but I don't know if that's good enough. Disdainful Stroke is probably just even more useless, so I'll just get rid of that instead. So I can phase out niv -Mizzet on my turn? Or does it really matter when? I don't think it really matters when. Do they even go for it now? If they do, I can maybe resolve Shark Typhoon, and that would obviously be very, very good for us. Each non-giant creature and planeswalker. Okay, so this goes up to five, so it doesn't die. 
probably get rid of intervention at this point. I do really need a land though. Hmm. I need an untapped land. Well, they have two men untapped. There's not much I can do about that though. Alright, well we didn't get there anyways. Let's play this, play this. Play into the north or leave up counterspell? Is there a reason to leave up counterspell? I don't know. Unless I pay two? Okay. Interesting. I don't... It's not like you're tapping me out on my turn to open the window for niv it Because I can't counter it anyways. So it doesn't really matter. Scry three to the bottom. Wow. I can't even phase... Well, I guess I can trade with Teferi to phase out niv it But I don't know if that's really a good idea or worth it or... I don't know. They might not go for it. I don't know. But seeing how they played a soft counterspell and something that I could just play, I don't know why they wouldn't. Storm's Wrath. All right, fine. It's plus, if the last card is a counterspell, this game might just be over. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. We'll see. Hope it isn't, but I might not be able to respect it anyways. Like, we probably just have to do this. If it's not good enough, we lose. You've got to be kidding me. Of course. Great. Fine. All right. So now the Renin 7 token has to be good enough. Now oh, that is utterly ridiculous. Last card, Counterspell. Because of course... Renin 7 is not long for this world. I'm not even going to try. I can't cast anything because of niv Mizzet, Because they'll draw a card, and that's not good. So, Oh, of course, it's an actual burn spell. Right. Well, can't counter it because they'll just draw a card. I don't think trying to protect uh, that thing on 2 loyalty makes any sense anyways. Because they'll just draw and kill it. Which is simply drawing cards. But I guess they can't swing, but now this card is in play, so not much matters. Well, they wouldn't ping that unless they had a way to just straight kill it. Don't know what that could be. They want to trade with it? That seems insane to me. Oh, well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I guess I have to counter that. I should have waited till they pinged, actually. If that mattered, I should have waited till they pinged. Because now they're not going to ping the 7-6. Alright, well, I somehow have to race Niv-Mizzet, which is kind of impossible. I can have us both draw a card. I can just draw a card this way instead with the Explorer. And not have them draw a card. Archmage's Charm, fine. Play a land, swing. Have another counter spell for whatever. Have to hit them two more times with this to kill them. Uh, not impossible. If I can get them to block, we're in a good spot. If I can just win somehow, I don't know. I'd be amazed if we pulled this out. It's not looking good. Mm-hmm. Well. They're not blocking with it, so they're probably just... Alright, I'm not going to try to counter that. It's just going to have to... It's just going to block our 8-8. Eight eight. It is what it is. I can cast my commander next turn. That I think I will counter. So they're not drawing a boatload of cards? Does it matter, though? They draw one less card if I counter that. That seems really not worth it. Right? They just draw one less, because Archmage's Charm, they draw a card off and be casting it, so it's not really stopping anything. I wonder if I draw with Archmage's Charm? I don't think so. I think it boils down to defending the 8-8 and trying to kill him with it. That's fine, that doesn't do much here. Could just simply be dead. It's also 
possibility. Always loot. Pact of Negation would be really nice, but I can't uh, keep both. Well, drew those in the wrong order. That's not great. I will swing for eight, and they will probably block. Nope, they don't block. All right, so a little bit sketch on them. If I somehow deal with this Electromancer and they choose to, in the same turn cycle, swing a Nidmizzet, I might kill them, but not terribly likely, but not impossible. Ah. Uh... Is making this a 9-9 worth it? And the problem is I can't really cast Abundant Harvest because I don't want them to draw a card. So i probably just get rid of that, play the land, and call it a day. Could have done that first, hit them for one more, but they're dead in one attack regardless. So I somehow have to make it so the Electromancer is out of the way or they swing and I find an answer to the Electromancer. That's another creature that has Disturb. What happens when it Disturbs? It's just it's just coming into play. Alright, so there's another blocker, so we're not winning the race anymore. Of course. Alright, well. I can still force in the block. I can just stop swinging if I'm dead. If I assume I'm going to die. Yada yada. But at this point, I think I have to... Wait, I can gain control of one of these? Oh, gain control of my own token. Okay. Oop. Yeah, this is just bad. Now, if I don't find anything good enough, I have to stop attacking. But then I'm basically dead because I'm not realistically winning when this is the case. So, And they get to counter it anyways because I wasn't paying attention. Silly me. They did get a little creature out of the way, but that doesn't matter much if I can't deal with it. That doesn't deal with it. Go away. That doesn't deal with it, so go away. That doesn't deal with it, so I guess I'm keeping that one. I can force them to block now, but that uh, we're basically dead. We we're close to just being dead. Don't think there's much I can do about it. Yep. Still very fragile, though. Like kind of fragile like imagine i had a way to deal with that one one and they just died that would be kind of interesting they're gonna ping this with niv mizzet but i don't see a reason not to just still play it could just soak a damage it's literally not doing anything anyways so except uh that i guess all right well Draw ping, draw ping. Yep, loot away this. They need one point of damage or two. I have one there. They need two more that I don't see. Yep, this was. This is probably a pointless endeavor. I should probably, honestly, just scoop to the start of the game. Because it's going to boil down to we win, except Niv-Mizzet makes it so we don't win. We can beat the entire deck, except I can't counterspell Niv-Mizzet, so I'm just going to die. And it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. If they somehow have nothing in hand, and I somehow deal with this 2-2, maybe... But I don't see that happening. I'm dead if I cast a spell and they have a counter spell. Is there anything I can do right now? No, not worth doing. Okay, let's cycle. We're dead next turn. This is our last turn. Useless. Useless. Draw. Witness protection doesn't do it either now. Nope. Alright. Whatever. Yep, I should have scooped the start of that. I feel like I just wasted my time. Nothing in that entire game matters except Niv-Mizzet resolving, which it can and always will because it's uncounterable. So, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, we'll play one more game. That is 
really the only control matchup that's just bad. That's just bad. But I do like this, uh, I like this commander a lot. I like the blue-green control uh, strategy, package, shell, whatever you want to call it. We have familiar and two lands. Witness protection and dealing with Yarok is really nice as well. So I hard pressed to mulligan. Let's go get a basic, definitely an island. We never really like cast one of these, get a land to your hand, and then Gretchen it. Like we've never really pulled that off. That's a little annoying, but I'll live. Let's play you and you. Hide the Biomancer's Familiar. Might not even cast it next turn. Could play Celestius instead. Then the turn after, do something. Trial of Ambition? What? Oh, I guess it doubles the Yarok, right? I guess. I don't... Okay. It's not... That's... Okay. Yeah. You got me, I guess. Can't say I'm too concerned about that one. Oh, come on. Really? Well, they use their Gilded Goose to do it. But, whatever. That's bad. That's bad. So play this. Play Inventor's Fair this next turn. And then, I don't know. Well, they didn't cast Yarok, I guess. Incubation Druid, sure. Let's play you. Let's play Inventor's Fair. Let's pass... Okay, kind of the wrong target in my opinion, but I'll take it. I would never kill that over the familiar. If it wasn't for the familiar, I'd probably not really risk realistically ever actually activating it. So that's very strange to me. But sure, um, let's go find a land, preferably a blue source. I'm not. The only thing you're going to do is make a food, so... Oh, boy. Yeah, they figured it out. Alright, so there's a land that's good. It's also a blue source. Uh, can't cast. Didn't say please this turn, so do I just solve the equation? Do I... Yeah. What do I get? I can get Pact of Negation. That's not a bad one here. I think that's probably a good one here, because it's literally castable. It's probably just a good idea. It's not great when our opponent knows about it, but still have to play into it to continue the game. Alright, then finally make a food token. Gonti's annoying. But Gonti's not the end of the world, so. If I can get to a spot where I can Shark Typhoon, we're happy. They can find a counter spell, but I think we'll live. I just need Shark Typhoon to resolve and then just sit around. I kind of like need to untap with it. Is that mine? No, that's not mine. That's theirs. Okay. Thought that was mine. I was about to say, I don't think you would cast that there. Although maybe you would. Maybe you would. Who knows? This has to resolve. Looks like it did. Past turn. I have a way to protect it. Hopefully it's good enough. Um, I'll let Yarok resolve because it's not doing anything right now. And then I can pack whatever they double up on. And if they don't do anything, I can just... Uh, I can uh, witness protection Yarok. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make a 1-1 one, one shark. It's really all in on Shark Typhoon at this point. And as long as they don't play creatures, we're kind of on the back foot. But if they do play creatures, and or I should say spells, we're not, we're doing alright, because of obviously the counter spells. Okay, they make a food, that's fine. Alright, alright, this is getting interesting. 
William Bottom Text. Thank you for the follow. That I will counter. I'd rather not mill my opponent if I can help it, so let's just do this instead. It literally renames it to Legitimate Business Person. That's great. Yarok is now a legitimate business person. Imagine this thing trying to sell you a vacuum cleaner. Alright, they stole a counterspell. What a surprise. It's almost like our deck is all counterspells. I will absolutely trade with that. Yeah, we're going to trade with Gonti here. This is about what we're interested in doing. I'm not going to trade with Yarok. Just take one a turn here. Got to pay five for the Pact, but that's what we signed up for. Shoot. So I'll probably get a land. Yeah, we should probably get a land here. Opponent's a freezing priority for the third turn in a row to make a food token. Okay. Blue. Pass. Wait, was that... Oh, no, I was about to say, was that good enough to give us a, uh... Shoot. Okay. Give us a, uh... Didn't say please, but no. Add a tap of green to do that. Oh, look, they did the thing. Oh. On my end step again. Is Earl coming? Nope, Earl's not coming yet. Alright, I need you to not do anything crazy. That's not... That's not crazy. Alright, so we're going to tap this to target that. Doesn't matter too much. Um, that means the Incubation Druid can, like, endlessly adapt, which is kind of funny. But it is what it is, right? I think we can just take it. We're not dead to serious pressure. The one ones might be valuable later. Untapping with these two cards is quite nice. Dealing with Uro can be annoying, but I think we'll live... I would have drawn two cards off of Shredder. Yeah, maybe. I do like the two cards in my hand, though. I don't know what I'd get rid of. Don't know what I would, like, discard to it. Or connive, whatever. It's connive one, right? It's just, like, connive one. I think connive is always just one, right? Okay, so there's an argument to casting this now, and I think I will. Puts a 4 4 in play. Could be a mistake. I want Ujin. Some more lands would be decent. These are kind of overkill. Let's just get this. That's fine. Can I cast it and leave up counter magic? I can. So I guess I will. I don't think I played a land this turn, so I'll just go get a forest and play it. Obviously no Nissa this time, but it's fine. Getting land for the other side of Memory Deluge is nice. Oh, I already did play land. Alright. So I don't think we're swinging. I don't think this game is about killing them with damage. I think it's about making so many sharks they can't do anything anyways. Okay. They have a bunch of mana. Doesn't really change anything, though. Not really. Ravenous Chupacabra. All right, I'm going to counter that because I want the 4-4 to stay around and I can favorably block. I think that's a good idea. I milled a land, a discard thing, and another land. Alright, I kind of wish my opponent drew those cards. I also gave them Uro, because I can't help it. I don't have a choice, really. Oh, man. I should probably not run Didn't Say Please. There's definitely better counter spells than that one. Let me tell you. And here is why. A cancel is better than this. Milling your opponent when it's not your game plan is a very stupid idea. Of these two, I think this is a little bit better. This kills Uro, though. Yeah, we should probably kill Uro. Yeah. Should probably do that, huh? Actually, we can kill Mind Flayer. Is that better? Just killing Mind Flayer? They draw two cards if I don't, though. Let's see. Uro or Mind Flayer? Uro or Mind Flayer? Mind Flayer is fine. We'll just deal with it later. We don't even really need the Biomancer's Familiar. I don't know why I'm sweating it. Let's play a land and pass. If I can defend Ujin, we're happy. I guess I don't have to, but 
This is a very crazy game. It's like blue-green gummed up board, but just because of Shark Typhoon. No, it's not like I do anything crazy. Return a creature card to your hand. Reveals her hand. She's a non-creature card. Okay. Is there a creature in their deck? Or I guess Gonti's a good target. Um, they, they already know about one card in my hand, and they still chose that one. Wow. I would never choose that when you know of a single... Oh, I'm just dead. Okay, never mind. Right. Guess it doesn't matter. Unless they mess up their attack. Which they don't. Okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. Waste of my time. Nothing mattered. They cleared the way with the discard spell and head crater. We have no counter spells of any... Of any regard. I should have scryed to see what was on top, but... Alright, silly me. Yarok doesn't really tend to play Crater Hoof. I know it doubles the trigger, but Yarok does not need to close the game out with a massive attack. It can just kill you with value. It's usually what you want to do anyways. I don't like Crater Hoof in Yarok. I do like it in Madrotha, kind of, but even still, not really. You just drown your opponent in value, and you don't really need to just lol, here's I win kind of card. Like, you're just drowning them in value. But, uh, yeah. Like, how many times, realistically, does my Yarok opponent have more than, like, two creatures in play? You're usually sweeping the board against them, going back and forth with removal spells and blocking or whatnot. You're not really amassing a large board presence, but we were blue-green with not a lot of removal, so they just had a large board presence. So I guess it didn't matter. Um, yep. I like kind of everything that this deck does. It's just a cool commander. I think it's I think it's pretty cool. It comes in early. It's like Keenan, but just horribly bad if you compare it to Keenan, obviously. As as on its own, it's decent. I do like it. Uh for a one-on-one -on -one commander, it's it's nice. Multiplayer, I don't think this is what you're doing. I think Tatyova is just better because you can play a slower game and you don't have to leave up mana to constantly counterspell what three people are doing. But uh, I don't know why I keep comparing this format to EDH. They are not the same in any way. The counter spells felt fine. Cantrips felt fine. Maybe drop S Omen of the Sea for like Brainstorm or something. Brainstorm might just be better because we have Gretchen and we can like play the lands that we find. Or we have plenty or enough shuffle effects that I'm not upset about it. You could even run that weird 3-mana Jace that's kind of like this Nissa. You could do that as well. Did our opponent play anything that we liked that we could play that wasn't black? No, not really. Hostage Taker was annoying there. Don't think it ended up mattering. Did we ever cast or see Kama? I don't think so. We could run, like, the 5-mana Primal... Was it Primal Command? Um... It's not really a ramp deck, so I don't like Ulamog. Could probably just add a land, though we weren't really ever mana screwed. Didn't say please should not be in here. It let my opponent cast Uro, and for the, to the extent of my knowledge, probably cost me the entire game. Because they were able to cast it, and then in the same turn, with the last two cards being things that clear the way for a Crater Hoof, we were dead. It could have drawn Crater Hoof, and otherwise they wouldn't have been able to do that. I don't know. Sublime Epiphany is decent. It's alright. We do get to that amount of mana, and bouncing something in play, it's, it's alright. Commence is decent too, if we're trying to amass cards in hand with the activations, and then we can make a large token. But it is a 6 minute spell, and fighting counter spells or a control deck is not really... Like, we, we're dealing with those... We're, st we're just beating control decks anyways. Don't think that's necessary. I do want another counterspell to replace. Didn't say please, though. I kind of like Devious Cover-Up. We have Uro, though. We have Uro and Tamio. So maybe I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, though. Yeah. It was certainly a cool deck. Alright, I'll just add cancel, because I like the card. You don't have to fight me. Um, hmm. Probably Sublime Epiphany. That's kind of... Actually, maybe we can just get away with another ramp spell. I don't like Lanor Elves. At all. I don't think this is a Lanor Elves deck. 
Cosmos elixirs. Cosmos elixir. Yeah, no, cancel, dude, cancel. Oh, I was about to type in cancel. I like, um, <laughs> yeah, all right. I think we can do that. Godfrail statue is cool, but it costs six mana. I don't, I don't know. All right. I think Cosmos Elixir is fine. I like the card. This seems like a middle of the pack card to play. It never upset when it's in play. Um, the life gain is not usually what changes the course of how an aggro matchup plays, but it's still all right. It's all right. Um, yeah, all right. So let me know what you did and did not like card-wise, or would and would not play, I should say. Let me know what you thought about the list. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.